This is Noah's Ark. And today, me, my wife Julia, and my friend Joe are going to be surviving here overnight. We're going to be given different challenges that will be fun and challenge our Bible knowledge in order to survive here overnight. So at the end of each challenge, there will be three boxes in front of me. The box with number one is first place, which means they get the best things. Second place gets the second best things and third place gets the worst. So don't get last. For the first challenge, we're going to be competing for drinks and then we'll move along to the second challenge. So are you guys ready? I'm ready to win. Yeah, right. All right, for the first challenge, there are 10 pairs of animals hidden around the first floor of the ark, and whoever finds the most pairs wins. You ready? Yeah. All right, <laughs> go! I don't know where these pairs of animals are gonna be. We have, they're apparently spread out throughout the entire ark. I have no clue where they could be. They could be anywhere, like literally anywhere. This is so nerve wracking. So we have to find pairs of animals on the ark. And right now, this is kind of like what it would look like where the animals would stay. Like these would be like a lot of the small animals that would be on the ark and like put water in here and then like their food in there, which is really cool. But anyways, okay, let's find these little animals. You guys, check this out. Guys, I found two pairs. I found a pair of animals, let's go. We found the chickens. Y'all, come on, put me on the board, let's go. Jacob found some already. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh, I think I just found some. I found, I found two giraffes already. I've got the giraffes, I got one point, let's go. This is crazy, we are literally on Noah's Ark pretty much by ourselves, which is absolutely wild. We're on the board, we got one pair of animals. Time to find the next pair. If I don't find any, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Look it, I still have found zero, literally zero. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I found the porcupines. Let's go, point for Julia. Yo. You guys, I was just walking up here. Look what I found. I found another pair of animals. We found the rhinos. I think Jacob just found some more. Oh my gosh. No, no. Let's go. Here we go, you guys. It's time to find more, it's time to find more. The, the ark is literally massive and there's so many amazing exhibits in the ark and this is just one really cool like piece in the ark. But anyways. This is pretty wide open space. I feel like there's not very many places that tiny animals could be hiding, but you never know. <gasps> yes! I knew there would be some back here. Look how cute. No way, you found some? I did, I knew it. No, which ones did you find? The little baby elephants. No. <laughs> oh, Julia found the elephants. Okay, we gotta find more animals. She's gonna catch up to us. Oh man, this is so hard. <laughs> My knees hurt. I found two and they don't know. They don't know that I found two. I think I've only found one. Let's go. Oh man, I didn't see anything. Did you find any? Um, yes. How many have you found? Two. Two pairs? How many have you found? One pair. Okay, well so far there's still five left. Oh wow. Jacob already also found two. He already found two? Yes. <laughs> you guys, I still haven't found any since I last found some. Have you found any yet? I found one. You found one pair? Yes. Okay, I'm still in the lead. Wait, what do you mean you're in the lead? I got two pairs, baby. Oh, no, but Julia's got two pairs also. What? Julia has two pairs? <laughs> No way. Y'all, this is tough. Y'all, we're all going to the front of the ship where we started. Please tell me there's some back here. Nope. I don't see any. Yo, where are these? Joe, I'm gonna beat you to finding one, bro. Uh, where could these animals be, dude? Oh my goodness. It's literally impossible. Oh my word, guys. I found the pigs. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I found the pigs. So I got the pigs and the giraffe, so now it's two, two, two. So now I gotta find. Guys, we're running out of time. Joe just found the pair of pigs. I need to find another pair. That way I can at least get second place and get somewhat of good drinks. This is tough. This is really tough. I've been searching for like five minutes. Can't find anything. I looked inside every single one of these feeding troughs and I didn't find a single one. Look, look how many there are in here. It just literally never ends. Nope. Nope. Oh man, guys, this is tough. I really don't want to lose. All right, you guys, we just got our first hint for the rest of them. They are on. No, no, you guys, Julia just found another pair. I found a photo of this. 
Joy just found another pair. That means she has three. Joe and I have two. There's only two more pairs left. Three more pairs left, you guys. I gotta find another pair here. We don't got time to waste. Oh, I've looked in here 500 times. Did you find another pair? I just found no. more. Oh. I looked in that stinking wagon no. like 10 <laughs> times. They were in there. Gosh. Y'all, I started this off winning two zero to zero. I have not found a pair since. There's only two pairs left. I gotta find them or else I'm getting last place. Okay, so Joe and Jacob gotta do the face off now. You found four? Yep. Bro, where are they? <laughs> that was awesome. You could get a little polar bear. I have looked in this back corner for 40 minutes and I cannot find this last pair of animals. Y'all, it's this back corner. I'm in this secret area room. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all, I cannot find Whatever these things are, leopard, tigers, whatever they are, I don't know where they're at. I need to call Noah and tell him to get the animals here pronto. I found them! I found the little koalas. <laughs> Joe, give us your feedback. My feedback is I'm upset. Look how cute they are. I literally looked right there. Fine. <laughs> oh Dude. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> I got yeah. the last ones. I got second place, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Where? Oh, they're right <laughs> up here. Oh, I've only passed there like 723 <laughs> times. And I'm a little short. And I saw it up there. You're telling me they're right there? Yeah, I couldn't even see There's it. There's no way. I passed Wait, this we gotta give them a, haul. a hundred times. What? In the world. All right, well, now that all the animals are found, it's time to go get our prizes. Time to go get our drinks. Let's go. Here we go. All right, you guys, we're at our boxes. Julia got first. This looks a little familiar. I feel like I've seen this. Yeah, last challenge, Julia got first like literally every round. Joe's in second. Let go. And I'm in dead last. Julia, since you won, you can go ahead and open up your box. Okay, okay. First thing we have is a massive Fiji water because we all know that Fiji is the best water. Yeah, we also have a peach mango body armor, which I will be drinking right now because I just sweat so much in that challenge. I also have a strawberries and cream Vita Coco coconut Dude, milk beverage. Favorite. And I will be giving this to you because um, it is supposed to be cold and it's been in this box. Um, we're married, so yes. This is a score in my book. Plus one. <laughs> Next. I got second place, so let's see what I got. I got smart water. Yay! Smart water for a smart guy. That's right. <laughs> I'm super smart. And then I got Gatorade Zero. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Gatorade. All right, last but not least, third place. Honestly, with what you guys got, I feel like I'm in for like somewhat of a surprise. And I already scored this coconut water. And I love coconut water, so this is a plus in my book. Bruh. <laughs> I literally have one water bottle the entire night. I will drink this in literally the first 15 minutes before I go to bed. This is literally crazy. All right, you guys, now that we unboxed our prizes, we are moving on to the next challenge and we will be competing for sleeping equipment. Are you guys ready for the next challenge? I'm so ready to win. All right, you guys, here we go to the next challenge. Let's do it. This challenge is going to be who can build the best Noah's Ark replica out of popsicle sticks. So you each get a pack of large popsicle sticks, small popsicle sticks, and tape to put it together. But this is the only catch. You only get 10 minutes. Three, two, one. 10 minutes starts now. Here we go, here we go. All right, you guys, so while we get started, I just wanna give a huge, huge shout out to the Ark Encounter in Williamstown, Kentucky for allowing us to do this. We get to survive the night overnight on the Ark Encounter, which is absolutely crazy. The Ark Encounter is absolutely so incredible. It just portrays the account of Noah in the book of Genesis so well and just shares so much of the story of his life. And it also combines science and the Bible and helps you to see both from a very, very cool perspective. I better start laying these out. So I can start 
actually winning this challenge. And you guys, the coolest part is, is they made this ark a real life size replica of what it says Noah's ark looks like in the Bible, which is actually crazy, two sides. So as I'm finishing the base of my ark, I highly, highly, highly recommend, if you guys want to get tickets to the Ark Encounter, you can click the link in my description to go order tickets now. And you guys, I hope you absolutely love your time at the Ark Encounter. But for now, I got to get back to building my ark. So let's do this thing. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm proud of where this is at. It might not stay like this forever, but you guys, we're calling it quits. We're done, we're done. With a minute and a half left, I'm gonna add some finishing touches, but this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. We've done it. We've done it. As these guys are finishing this challenge, one last time, I wanted to give a huge thanks to the Ark Encounter for allowing us to do this. Again, you guys definitely have to come see the Ark Encounter experience, the account of Noah and the Ark he built in real life, like you read about in Genesis. And again, if you guys want to visit the Ark, get your tickets at the link in my description. And I hope you guys love the Ark Encounter. It's absolutely incredible. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 minutes. Everybody stop. So I think just an FYI for the future challenges, if we build Noah's Ark again, we need a lot more than 10 minutes. But let's go ahead and go down the line really quick. I should have just used the big popsicle sticks the entire time, but I didn't. But we have a fully functional Ark. I mean, look at this. This thing could float. It has a roof. It has entrances on both sides. Let's go ahead and rate this really quick. Okay, Joe, what do you give it? It looks like a $1 shack. Well, it's better than whatever you have going on over there. <laughs> Julia, what do you think of it? Okay, I think it's good, um, but it it does give tent, not arc. All right, well, we heard it there. All right, let's see what Joe's got going on over here. Hi, right, Joe, what do you got going on over here? Okay, as you can tell, like mine actually has like a good shape. <laughs> like, like here's like the I guess the stern, and here's the bow, and I think that's the correct terminal. <laughs> I was just about to say, I definitely would trust this thing to float. Yeah, it definitely needed more tape, but it was definitely hard to like get all this together. <laughs> it's the thought is definitely there. If you had more tape, it would float. What do you mean? It's yeah. floating. Yeah, it looks good. I would honestly give that like a three out of ten. Oh, okay. We'll 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 see what the judge. <laughs> all right. What do you think? I'm not sure, but it might be worse than yours. Whatever. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's good, actually. All right. Well, we can move on from that. All right. Let's see what Julia's got. Whoa. Julia's actually kind of looks like an arc. If I had more time, it would definitely have gone way better, but this was literally all I could do. I, but I built beautiful walls. They have streamlines. It's very solid and functional. It is. It's very solid and functional. Honestly, it's the best looking one I've seen, so I'm going to give it, like, at least a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a, <laughs> I'll give it a 4. Yeah. I think that's better than both of ours. Um, I think we can all agree that Julia won <laughs> again. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like we know who won. Julia won. And uh, it looks like Joe got second because his actually looks like an arc. And I'm sleeping good tonight. yet again, I got last. So we're going to move on from this challenge and we're going to go open our prizes. So here we go. So Julia, if you want, you can go ahead and open your box. I wonder what's in my box. Air mattress. You shouldn't have <laughs> my, my pillow. And then my blanket, or a blanket, so a full and bed. some sheets. A full bed. So literally a full yeah. bed. Okay. Princess bed for me. Thank That's you. Next. My box is literally about to combust. <laughs> um, so let's see what's inside. <gasps> Bro, a sleeping bag? <laughs> A oh sleeping bag, God. let's go! And a pillow! No silk pillowcase though. But we also have a blanket. You also have a full sleeping setup. Yes. That's crazy. Okay, I, I might have some hope then. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my box. Last place yet again. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. A blanket and a pillow. Woo! Have fun on the ground. Boy. Wait, no, you know what? I had a pillow last time. Yeah. That's it. I didn't have a blanket. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be warm tonight. I'm making upgrades. You know what? I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. I think you're lying. <laughs> All right, you guys. We are moving on to our last and final challenge, and this is going to be for food for the night. Next challenge three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah. All right, y'all. We are on the third floor of the Ark Encounter. 
You guys, we are doing our final challenge. There are verses and chapters all over throughout the Ark Encounter, but there is a specific chapter listed on one of the exhibits on floor three. And that chapter is Genesis 10, and it talks about Noah and his descendants. And whoever can find the chapter first wins the best food item since Woo! we are competing for food item, the last and final challenge. Second place and third gets last. It's usually how it goes. All right, y'all ready? <laughs> yes. Three, two, one, here we go. Okay, guys, so we have to find where it talks about Noah and his descendants. This floor is literally huge. I did see a family tree. Like this whole exhibit here on the third floor is about fossils, evidence of a flood, and just so many different things, which is so cool because it lines up with the Bible, which is absolutely incredible. Hey Noah, what's up? Look at that, him and the dove right there, that's cool. Dude, this exhibit is really sick. I can't wait to see what else is inside. Wow, look at all this cool stuff, guys. Look at all these plants, and they had a vegetarian diet for sure when they were on the ark because they couldn't eat the animals. So, oh, look, there's somebody over there. No Genesis yet, no Genesis yet. New Testament, well, that's not even in English. So I don't think that's it. We're looking for something like this. Acts 8, 26, no. Okay, this is really cool too. This is the Grand Canyon and it talks about how it was formed and how literally the layers of sediment actually do show evidence for a very quick global flood for those layers to be laid very, very rapidly. Okay, this exhibit says Ice Age. I don't think it's in here. I have to show you, this, this is so cool. I think I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> I think I've seen him in a movie. I can't remember his name, but I've definitely seen him. There's no scripture in these exhibits. Let me read here. Eating and meeting. I don't see a Bible verse about Genesis in here. Oh, look, they've got like a little, this is probably where they made bread, a little stove. We've got Japheth and Renee. I think that's how you spell her name, Renee. <laughs> and then it looks like we've got Shem. I don't see a Bible verse here. Nope, don't see a Bible verse here. All right. Wait, you guys, I think I found it. Yo. Okay, it says the Lord scattered the people. God's judgment. Since the people refused to scatter, God put an end to the rebellion and accomplished his purpose by confusing their language. No longer able to communicate with each other, the people abandoned their efforts and departed from Babel. The table of nations in Genesis 10 names the groups of people that built the earth. You guys, it's right here. We found it, let's go. Y'all, oh, that means we win, let's go. Okay, I have no clue what Joe and Julia are doing right now. We found the table of the nations, Genesis 10, that gives the entire lineage and descendants of Noah. We found it, we're in the right spot. Let's go, that means I get first place, I get the best food. I may have lost every challenge, before this, but you know what? I win the last challenge. And that is what matters because we're eating good tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all. What? What? Guess what I found? No, no way. What? Come on, I'll show you guys. Come on. Let's go. I wasn't even close. You weren't even close. It's right over here. We're taking a whole trek all the way over here. Alright, I gotta show these guys what I just found. So the Lord scattered the people, Genesis 10, and there is his descendants. I was literally on the other side of the boat. <laughs> you weren't even close. I missed the boat completely. Were you close? No, I was I was excavating the other side. Yeah, I missed the boat entirely, so uh, I didn't even come close. Well, you guys. So wait. That means I get first. Did you even find any scripture at all? Yes, I found Genesis 5, and I found Noah on the family tree with all of his sons and descendants. Yeah, I didn't, I just found like all the really cool mannequins <laughs> in the ark. I didn't find any like Bible verses, <laughs> but I found a lot of cool information about uh, Noah's descendants and it was really cool. Well, it's too bad you didn't find the verse. So, so who gets so second place? I think what that means is Julia gets second Woo! and Joe gets last. Yeah. All right, you guys, the third challenge is over. Now we're going to go ahead and open our prizes. So here we go. Y'all, look at this how the turn have tabled or how the tables have turned i've been dethroned finally goodness joe's finally in my spot you'll get comfortable there real quick you'll be grateful for what you have all right in the meantime you guys i got first julia got second yes. and joe got third so i'm gonna go ahead and open my Just prize really take this moment and save her, you're right okay? thank you lord save for letting me get first here we go oh <laughs> Y'all, okay. Pistachios. I've never really had these, but they look good. 
Y'all, true fru. Literally, true fru is so good. I'm gonna be eating all these tonight. True fru is amazing. Chomps of beef sticks. Oh, dude, those are expensive. <laughs> these are so good. Possibly the greatest part. Three flavors of Joyride candy. I've been wanting to try these so bad. We got the sour pink lemonade strips, strawberry twists, and watermelon wedges. I might have to share with you guys to let y'all try these. Yeah, please. This literally looks so good. We're gonna be trying these tonight. First place is feeling good. Woo! But Julia, now on to you. Alrighty, it's my turn. I think you're holding the mic for me. This is in my interview. You gotta hold the mic so that I can do it. Okay. Oh my goodness. The first thing are these Simply Cheddar Cheeto Puffs that are the greatest tasting things in the entire universe. I love them so much. I'm so excited. I got some beef jerky. That's actually a really good prize. Original beef jerky. I'm gonna be needing this protein because I feel like I'm there gonna fall go. over right now. And one bag of Joyride candy watermelon. I'm excited. Let me just crack these bad boys open right now. So there you go. Jacob doesn't have to share. Keith. That's right. I mean, yeah, I guess. No. <laughs> wow, I can't believe he ate. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're really good. All right, go. Time to unbox my box. Uglies. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Uglies kettle potato chips. Actually, yeah, these might be fire. So don't be hating on Uglies. Uglies, if you want a brand deal, reach out to me. Your boy got Quaker lightly salted rice cakes. <laughs> so your boy's gonna be caked up tonight. Yep, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. It's currently like 1.30 a.m. Julia. I have my heatless curlers in, that's why I look a little crazy. You look like Megamind. I have my heatless curlers in. Gotta have the hair looking. She literally has a queen size mattress with a headboard. How does that even make sense? And what do you got? You got your snacks, you got your water. Then what do we got here? Who's this? What are you, what are you doing here? How are you doing? Hi. You're going with a different tactic here. You're not sleeping inside the sleeping bag. I'm using the sleeping bag as my sleeping pad. And I'm using the pillow. And then I've got the blanket on top and then that way I don't get too hot like overnight because I know I would be super hot if I was in the sleeping bag in the ark. I've been drinking my smart water and honestly have not gotten into the cakes, <laughs> the rice cakes or the uglies, but it's all right. Thanks, I'm doing all right. Good. I'm just so tired, y'all. All right, you guys. Well, this is my spot right here, a pillow and a blanket, and uh, I get to sleep on the floor. And you know, you guys, that's just thinking about it. You know, sometimes in life you win some, like I won my snacks and you lose some. And you just gotta make the most with what you're given each and every single day. God tells us not to worry about the days in the future because today has enough worries of its own. And so that's how I wanna start looking at life a little bit more. And I encourage you guys to look at it that way too. But I'm exhausted and we need to sleep and survive overnight in Noah's Ark. Because of that, I'm gonna lay down here. I'm gonna turn my light off and I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. All right, you guys. It is 6.11 a.m. and we have officially survived overnight on Noah's Ark. I am exhausted but I can't believe we actually did this and we slept over and we survived. The Ark Encounter opens in two hours so we gotta pack everything up and get some more sleep. And if you guys like this video you should watch this video right here where me and my friend Joe and my wife Julia play extreme hide and seek in Noah's Ark but guys I'm gonna go and try and get some better sleep. Till next time I love you guys. I can't believe we survived overnight on Noah's Ark. Now I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.